Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Sony WH-1000XM5s. Now you can pick these up online, I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on these, 400 bucks. I repeat, 400 bucks. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. Now these come in two colors. You got black and silver. The Bluetooth version 5.2, the codex is SBC, AAC, and LDAC. No APTX. Now you got 30 millimeter drivers, which on a side note, a little bit smaller than last year's M4s. These are 40 millimeter drivers. So we'll see if that makes a difference. Now you got the V1 processor. That should help you achieve god tier noise cancellation. You got eight mics, again, as opposed to four mics in the M4s. So that should give you crystal clear phone calls. Now you got active noise cancellation. You got transparency mode. You got quick attention. Now what quick attention means, when you're wearing your headphones, if you wanna have a conversation, you put your hand over the right ear cup, it'll automatically put them in transparency mode, you have a conversation, when you release it, your music will resume. Now you also got speak to chat. What that means is when you're wearing your headphones, if you wanna have a conversation, just start talking, it'll automatically pause your music. Once you stop talking, your music will resume. Now you also got weird detection. When you're wearing your headphones, take them off, it'll pause the music, put them back on, your music will resume. Now these feature multi-point connection, so that means you can have two devices connected at the same time. Now the battery life on these is 24 hours with active noise cancellation turned on, 32 hours with active noise cancellation turned off. Now it takes three and a half hours to fully charge the headphones, but you do have quick charge. So 10 minutes of charge will give you five hours worth of playtime. Now you also got an app that's available for Android and iOS. All right, so all of that for 400 bucks. Let's see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes. Back in the I building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes. I love my white Calm down. Okay, here we go. Sony WH-1000X M5s. Now, for the rest of this video, I'm going to call these the M5s. Now, this is going to be a two-part video. First, I'm going to do a full review on these, let y'all know what I think about them. Then after that, we're gonna do some comparisons. Now I'm gonna rank them versus my top headphones out right now with active noise cancellation. Number one on my list, AirPod Max. Y'all know I love these. Number two, Sony M4s. Number three, I'm going with the Techniques. All right, these are so underrated. Number four, Sennheiser Momentum 3. Then everything else. Now on a side note, I'm pulling out all the stops for this video. Somebody asked me to compare them to the Bose Quiet Comfort 45s, so we got those on deck. And somebody also wanted to see how they rank versus the Bowers and Wilkins PI7s. So at the end of this video, we're gonna do some major comparisons. All right, let's get started. Here we go, Sony M5s. Nice presentation, let's see. Let's go ahead and pop this off. Okay, little sleeve. Okay. Okay, 1000X series. All right, Shoes is patiently waiting to jump in this box. Okay, Shoes, inspect the box for quality. Let's see what you get. Now, this is gonna be quick start guide. Got your usual books and shit, pluck them and file them. 360 reality audio. Flick of the wrist. Look at, look, yo, look at Shoes went right in the box. All right, Shoes, I'm gonna leave the box right there so you can chill right there. <laughs> Why when cats see boxes, they just gotta get in. Okay, now here's your case. Now these air cups, they do not fold up like the M4s, okay? As far as the case, nice hard shell. Okay, you got a little hook right here for a carabiner clip. Sony branding on the uh, zippers, I like that. Okay, here we go. Now I'm super hyped for these, <laughs> okay? Now y'all know I got a love-hate relationship with Sony. I don't always like their products, but their headphones, they're usually the truth. And especially when it comes to active noise cancellation. Okay, here's the outer M5s. Now, quick side-by-side side side comparison. Let's get the case out of the way real quick. Okay, so here's the M4s and the M5s. Now, as far as the weight, both of them feel lightweight, okay? Now, these actually, the M5s, they do feel a little bit cheaper. Now, when I say cheaper, I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, they don't feel as premium. These don't feel that premium either. They feel like plastic headphones, which some people actually like. Now, me personally, this is one thing that I love about the AirPod Max. 
I love this big aluminium heavyweight build, but some people don't want that. All right, now, if you're going to be using these headphones all day long, you want them to be lighter. I can, I can understand that. Okay, so let's see. Ear cups. Now, with the M4s, okay, the M5s ear cups, they actually do feel a little bit better, feel a little bit softer. Y'all know these wasn't my favorite ear cups on the M4s. These actually feel a little bit better. Let's do the two-finger test. <laughs> Ladies, okay, here's how it looks nice and soft. Okay, let's see anything else in this presentation Okay, so you got your 3.5 cable L-shaped gold tips and you got your USB type C To USB a charging quick uh, cable not that long giggity Okay, and that's pretty much it now one thing I do got to mention one of the downsides about the AirPod Max No 3.5 input that's a huge downside, but I still love them. Okay, so let me pause the video. I'll grab a phone, and then we'll uh, start our usual testing. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. First, let's talk about the build quality. Super lightweight. Okay, now you got these leatherish air cups, not real leather, but definitely softer and more plush than the M4s. Same thing with the headband. Nice memory foam in there. Let's do the stretch test. Okay, now as usual, if you got the Easter Island size head, these will fit you. Okay, the air cups do rotate, but these do not fold up. Okay, now as far as your buttons, you got your power on and off and your Bluetooth pairing. You got your active noise cancellation and transparency mode. There's your 3.5 input. There's your USB Type-C charging slot. And you can see microphones all over them. Okay, all over the place. Okay, so as far as the uh, build quality, again, not the most premium feeling uh, headphones in the world. But if you're going to be wearing these for 10 hours straight on a long flight, you might want that. Right? You want them to be lightweight and comfortable, and these deliver. All right, so now let's take a look at the Sony Headphones app. Now, I got them all paired up. You can power on and off your headphones. It shows you a picture of your headphones. You got a little tutorial. You got your Bluetooth connection and your battery percentage. Now this is the status tab. So you got adaptive sound control. Now you can set up different profiles for different locations. Now you got your music, you can play and pause, skip and reverse tracks, and you got your volume up and down. Now we'll take it over to the sound tab. You got your ambient sound control. So you can turn off noise cancellation. You got ambient sound, and you got off. Now from ambient sound, you got level 20 all the way down to level one. And if you want to, you can focus on voice. Noise cancellation. You got speak to chat. We talked about that already. You got a fully functional EQ. Now, that's one of the things that I love about Sony products, fully functional EQ. Now, right now, you got off, bright, excited, mellow, relaxed, vocal, treble boost, bass boost, speech, manual, and two custom settings. Now, one of my favorites is excited. So we'll start with that. You got your 360 reality audio, which only works on certain streaming services. You got your Bluetooth connection. Now you can prioritize sound or Bluetooth sta uh, stability. You got DSEE Extreme. Now this is perfect for if you like to listen to SoundCloud or YouTube music. A lot of old school mix tapes are not really mixed up to today's standards. You can upscale them with DSEE Extreme. Now here's your system tab. You got multi-point, connect two devices at the same time. Now in order, that, uh, in order for that to work, you have to turn off LDAC. You got your voice assistant. So you got Google and Amazon Alexa, and if you're using an iPhone, you got Siri. You got your touch-sensitive controls, okay? You got your ambient sound and noise control button, which is fully customizable. You got your automatic power off. Pause when your headphone's taken off. Okay, automatic download software and your settings. And here's your different 360 reality audio streaming services. Simple and straightforward, just like all of the other Sony products. All right, so now let's talk about the look, the fit, and the feel. Now, I just put these on my head. They feel super comfortable. Okay, lightweight. I love the leatherish ear cups. No issues at all. Now, on a side note, I do have on ambient sound mode. And this is one of the features that I use the most on my AirPod Max. And I can clearly say right now that the ambient sound mode is pretty good. But I think I like it a little bit better on the AirPod Max. Now, I can clearly hear my voice. I can hear my snaps. I can hear my nail on the table. Does have a little bit of a hint of a robotic tint to my voice. Again, I like the AirPod Max a little bit better, but these are pretty dope. All right, I can, I can easily see myself wearing these and having a conversation. 
Now here's how they look, okay? Now these are not like earbuds. All right, they look the same on everybody. All right, so now let's do a sound test. All right, so I got a classic song queued up. We got Teddy Riley, Is It Good To You? From the Juice soundtrack, which on a side note, I was watching yesterday. And this song is stuck in my head. If y'all seen Juice, this is the music that was playing when they went in the store to steal those records. I love it. Okay, now I'm gonna start off at max volume, active noise cancellation turned on. Okay, got my mic just in case, but I promise y'all I'm not gonna sing. Birdman hands rubbing together. Double tap on the right ear cup for playing pause. Let's get it on. Okay. All right, here we go. Now I will say this, these sound pretty damn good. Okay. Nice highs and mids. Okay. Now I'm gonna play with the EQ in a minute. Is it good to you? Oh, oh, these sound dope. All right, these sound dope. You can feel the audio separation. Okay, I might need to bring up my mic for this one. Is it good to you? Let's go. When my love comes down, I don't have to run around. I've got you when you know just what to do to fulfill all my needs and satisfy me. But I'd like to know that the sexual feeling is mutual. Do you feel what I'm feeling? Do I please you? Do I feel the need to know where's my sambo? But I just like to know, is it good to, I love to know. Hold up, hold up, let's see something. Oh, these sound dope. No, is it good to? Okay, we'll try excited. Is it good? Let's do mellow. Okay, relax. Let's do treble boots. Okay, the highs and mids are crispy. We'll do bass boost. We'll do a bass test in a minute. Let's do our manual, custom. Let's see. My usual custom. Oh yeah, I like this. This is how I like it. Oh yes, yes. Okay. Oh, these sound dope. All right, these sound dope. These sound dope. All right, so we'll leave it on custom. All right, let's hit pause. Okay. <laughs> yes, now look, I told y'all, me and Sony, man, we be going back and forth. But they did it right with these. These sound dope. Now, I was a little concerned because, oh, let me take these off for a minute. Yeah, that noise cancellation ain't no game. I can't hear shit. I was a little concerned because of the drivers are a little bit smaller than the M4s, and I didn't really like the M4 sound that much. I mean, I like them, but they wasn't my favorite. These sound incredible. Now let's do let's do the bass test. Let's take it over to uh, Nipsey Hussle, Blue Laces Two. Why not? Okay, so we'll put these back on. Whew, that noise cancellation ain't no joke. I thought I was in a hyperbolic chamber just now. Hold up, let me just put these back on. All right, let's do Blue Laces Two. Oh baby, it's been so long. Let's do custom. Woo! Okay. All right, Sony. Ooh, okay, Sony. Okay, Sony. Make me a believer. Make me a believer. Mogalene, no. All right, Sony. Let's double tap. Let's double tap. You see, and this this goes back to <laughs> this goes back to <laughs> damn this ANC. This goes back to one of my old sayings. You're only as good as your last product. Okay, now Say what you want about the M4s. Those have god tier noise cancellation, but the sound quality leaves a little bit to be desired. These right here. I, whoa! I, I am impressed. I am impressed. These these might these might have to take my new uh top spot. I don't know. Now, I can already tell you, just by testing the noise cancellation just now with minimum sounds in the background, like taking these off, I feel like I could breathe again. Like when these is on just now, and I'm singing, I, I don't know if I was yelling or not. 
The noise cancellation is ridiculous. Now, one of the best things about Sony headphones is the Sony headphones app, which gives you that fully customizable EQ. Okay, now, if you got these uh, headphones, try, try out this EQ setting for yourself. If you like a lot of bass, this one was pretty good. All right, these are pretty good. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna test out uh, a few different other songs, but these sound great, all right? They already sound great. Let's do the rest of our testing. All right, so now let's check the multi-point connection. Now, I turned off LDAC, so let's see if we can have two galaxies playing at the same time. Let's hit play on the music. Okay, this one is playing. Let's hit pause. Let's hit play on this one. This one is connected also. Now check this out. If you look closely, you can see two devices connected at the same time. All right, so now let's do the reconnection test. How long do these take to reconnect your phone after you turn them off? Okay, let's see. Right now they're connected. Let's turn them off. Okay, let's see. Fully disconnected. Let's turn them back on. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, two Mississippis. That's pretty dope. All right, so now let's check the touch controls. Now for the touch controls, you're gonna use your gestures. So you're gonna swipe forward to go to the next song, swipe back to go to the previous track, swipe up for volume up, swipe down for volume down, double tap for play and pause, answer them phone calls, and long press for your voice assistant. So let's get them, put them on and try them in real life. Okay, double tap for play and pause. There it is. Swipe forward. Okay, that's the next song. Swipe back. Okay, there's reverse. Swipe up, that's volume up and down. Swipe down. Okay, there's your volume down. And let's do a long press. What's the weather for tomorrow? Okay, so all of the touch controls work. And I will say this, I love these swipe gestures. Okay, they work flawlessly. All right, so let's test out some of these features. First, we'll do speak to chat. Now, one of the things that I like about speak to chat, time until the mode closes. We'll leave it at five seconds, okay? Now, let's go back to the music. Okay, now the music is playing. Now, I just started talking. Now, it's automatically in transparency mode. Let me be quiet. Okay, the music started playing again. As soon as I started talking, it said, Bring! now you can hear my voice. It's in ambient sound mode. I can hear everything perfectly fine. Now, let me be quiet. Okay, after five seconds, the music started playing. Now, just now, as soon as I started talking again, boom, went back to ambient sound mode. All right, that feature's kind of cool. Now, for me, I like to sing too much when I'm listening to music, so every time I start singing, it'll go to ambient sound mode. But this is perfect for if you work in the office, and now, let me, let me be quiet. Now, say you're chilling at your desk, just being quiet. Let me wait for the music to come back on, five seconds. Yo, Floss, uh, yo, what up, what y'all want? Oh, okay, yeah, I, I tell him I'll call him back in a minute. Now, as soon as I started talking, it went to ambient sound mode and it paused the music. I love that. All right, so now let's try quick attention. So how this works is, I'm wearing the headphones right now. I'm gonna have my music playing. If somebody starts talking to me and I wanna have a conversation, I'm gonna put my hand over the right ear cup and it should automatically pause my music and put me in ambient sound mode. All right, so let's try it, let's hit play on the music. Okay, the music is rocking, nice and loud. Now I wanna have a conversation. Yo, what y'all talking about over there? Oh, this is dope, <laughs> this is dope. Now it's automatically in transparency mode. I got my hand over the air cup. I'm gonna release my hand. The music came back on instantaneously. Oh, this is dope. So say you're in the gym, you're getting your workout on, and here come that uh, annoying person next to you. How many sets you got left? Uh, what'd you say, bro? Oh yeah, I got three sets left. Okay, no doubt. Take your hand right off. All I'm doing is putting my hand like this over the air cup and releasing it. That feature actually works. I like it, it's not a gimmick. All right, so now let's try wear detection. As you're wearing the headphones, when you take them off your ears, it should pause the music. You put them back on, the music should resume. Let's hit play on the music. Okay, the music is playing. I took them off my head, y'all heard the music pause? I'm gonna put them back on. Music started playing instantly, let's take them back off. You see, now what I'm doing is I'm taking them off and quickly putting them around my mic. You hear the music stop. I'm gonna put them back on. 
the music resumed. All right, shout out to Sony. All of these features actually work. I thought it was going to be kind of gimmicky, but they do work. All right, they do work. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's check the call quality. I'm calling Amaya from one of my troll numbers. Okay, let's get max volume. Let's see if she answers. Hi, girly! Ah, uh, yes, 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 we're back, we're back. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, I was kind of busy. I was kind of busy. So that, you know, I had to get my beauty sleep, bro. No, you can't keep this, this face needs rest yet. All right, what you doing? All right, send me the, yeah, send me the video. All right, I'm testing out some new headphones. How do I sound? Sound really loud, but is it clear? And I, I, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit hyped, so I'm talking a little bit loud. Let me talk regular. I, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I, I actually love these headphones. That's why I'm OD hype. I know, okay, but I sound, but I sound good. Okay, okay, I'm gonna turn it down a little. Bit. All right, now let me turn the. I'm turning on the Brookstone fan for the win test. Do you hear the win? You hear the win? You don't hear the win? All right, let me increase the fan. What about now? Do you hear any win? Get it, yo. Are you telling the truth? You, I okay, no cap. You you don't hear no win. Let me put. Look, all right, what about now? No win. All right, what, this is this is the Brookstone fan on maximum win. You don't hear no win at all. Okay, I, I, I believe you. I'm just saying, I am blown, I'm flabbergasted. I am flabbergasted. <laughs> Big words alert. All right, girly, um, all right, I'm, I'm gonna call you back when I get upstairs, all right? <laughs> I am, bah. Okay, bro, bro. Now y'all been watching my videos for months. This is the first pair of headphones that I put on, actually, and I did that wind test. And Amaya was like, I don't hear any wind at all. Now, I don't even hear, the, the one thing I will say, wearing these, they're sealed around my ears. I didn't even hear the wind going into my ears. So I had the Brookstone fan. Now look at this. I had it on, I couldn't even hear the fan, honestly. That's, yo, the, the noise cancellation. I couldn't even hear the fan. I, 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 I wasn't sure if I was actually increasing the speeds or not. But I had it on max wind, and she said she didn't hear nothing. The call quality sounded great. She said I sounded, I sounded extra loud. I was kind of hyped. But even when I toned it down, she said that I sounded great. She sounded great on my end. And that's due to all of these wind reduction microphones. <sighs> I hate to say it. Y'all know me. All right? But look, y'all know I only pledge allegiance to the hotness. And I got to give credit where credit is due. As much as me and Sony be going back and forth with trash products and dope products, this one right here, I got to take my hat off to them. I am loving these headphones. I just got to do one thing, one more test to find out if these are number one. There's one more test I got to do. I got to do active noise cancellation. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I just came back from outside testing out transparency mode and active noise cancellation. Now, shout out to my next door neighbor for helping me test these. As far as transparency mode, they work. All right, no issues at all. I think I like the AirPod Max a little bit better. It gives me more of a natural sounding voice, but I love that quick attention feature. I told him to start randomly talking to me, put my hand over it. We was able to have a conversation with my music playing. All right, and then as soon as I release it, no issues. All right, so the transparency mode works. I just like the AirPods a little better, but these are A1. Now, let's talk about active noise cancellation. Now, in order to do this test, I went to go sit in my car. Now, if y'all know anything about my car, it is stupid loud. All right, it's ridiculously loud. So I turned on the mufflers all right, with the cold start. I'm sitting in the car. With active noise cancellation turned on, I'm going to rank these as God tier. Now, y'all know, usually I got three tiers. We got trash tier, okay tier, and top tier. But certain headphones and certain earbuds, Sony and Bose, they're able to go past those three tiers, AirPod Max, and achieve God tier noise cancellation. Scary tier, right? The noise cancellation on these... This is the best, okay? This is the best. Now, I'm going to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison, but I use my AirPod Max so much, I already know. All right, I sit in the car a lot. I already know. I think these are the best. Now, the only way to really settle this is a quick side-by-side -side comparison, but on the real, the, the, the noise cancellation on these is going to blow you away. Do not put on noise cancellation and ride your bike, all right? Do not do that.
You will get hit by a car. Do not take the train with noise cancellation turned on and be walking through my, the streets of Manhattan and Brooklyn with the noise cancellation turned on. You get injected. All right, somebody could just walk right up on you and snatch these off your head. Now, I was doing some thorough testing outside. I had the music on in my car. First of all, when my car was on, now my car rumbles, all right? This is a big, you know what I'm saying, a V8 monster. It rumbles. I couldn't even hear my car on, okay? Now, I think my car is a a equivalent to sitting next to the engine on an airplane. It's almost that loud and annoying. I couldn't hear anything, okay? These are the truth, okay? Active noise cancellation, God tier. Scary tier, get robbed tier, all right? That's the top tier of tiers. I love these. So let me go ahead and uh, wrap this up. Now, I said this is a two-part video, so I'm gonna start part two right after this. On a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Sony M5s a major, 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 major go. Now, y'all know, I don't use the quad majors for every product that I do. I rarely use that ranking. These are a quad major go. All right. If you're looking for active noise cancellation uh, headphones that are comfortable, lightweight, the music quality sounds great, the phone call quality sounds great, no wind noise, transparency mode, pretty dope, and God tier active noise cancellation for 400 bucks, this is it. This is it. My biggest concern was, was the driver size being a little bit smaller. Were they going to be able to stack up? They do, all right? This is some sorcery. I don't know what kind of sorcery Sony did to make the driver smaller and actually sound better. I think they're carbon fiber uh, drivers in this. They work. Whatever they are, they work. I don't know, but they work. These are the truth. Buy these. All right, when you hear me say a quad major go, that means click click pause in the video, open up another web page, go to Sony, go to Amazon, go to eBay, all right? go to Best Buy, put these in your cart, and hit buy. These are the truth, okay? These are the truth. Now, with that being said, let's rank these, okay? Now, in order to rank them, I gotta do two tests. I gotta do sound and noise cancellation. All right, so let's go ahead and pull out all these other headphones and get this out the way and settle this once and for all. All right, now, in the interest of saving time, I'm not gonna make y'all watch me test all of these individually, but I got each one of these paired up to a separate phone with the apps downloaded and all of the optimal settings. So I'm gonna start off with the M5s, AirPod Max, the Techniques, the Bows and Wilkins, the Bose, and the Sennheisers. So I'm gonna do all of this testing and I'll let y'all know which ones sound the best and how do I rank these. All right, so I just finished the most thorough testing that I've ever done down here on a bunch of different headphones at one time and I'm ready to give y'all my ranking. Now this is going by the way I like to listen to music. Extra loud, a lot of bass, and a lot of highs. Number one on my list, AirPod Max. These are still my favorite sounding over the air headphones with active noise cancellation. Crystal clear, the bass is excellent. Spatial audio, lossless audio. I mean, these are dope. I just love these. These are still number one in terms of sound quality in my humble opinion. Number two, I'm going with the Sony M5s. And part of that is due to the app and LDAC. These are terrific, terrific. Number three on my list, highly underrated headphones, the Techniques. Now these are neck and neck with the Sonys, okay? But I like the Sony sound a little bit better, a little bit more customization with the app, but these are neck and neck, all right? So far, these are my top three. Then after that, I'm going with the Sennheisers. Now the Sennheisers, these have the most bass. If you're looking for ANC with the most bass, the Sennheisers. Then after that, I'm going with the B&O's. Now, this was my first time playing with these. That's why this testing took so long. These are pretty dope. These are pretty dope. But I like all of the other ones better. But these are no slouch, all right? These sound great. Audio files will probably appreciate this. Not the most bass, but the clarity is there. Then after that, I'm going with the Bose. These could be a little louder. All right, now I was playing around with the app. These could be a little louder, but they do sound good. But that's my ranking. Now, we gotta test A and C, and I wanna show y'all how I'm gonna do this test. Watch this. All right, so in order to test this, I got one of my favorite troll videos, one hour of a crying baby. Now, on a side note, if you live in an apartment building and you got next door neighbors that you hate, they be playing music all times of the day and night, and you hate them and you wanna get them back, you get a JBL boombox, you put this video on repeat, and leave and go to work. Listen to how this sounds. <laughs> 
<laughs> now, <laughs> this is, let me, hold oh, it. <laughs> that is the worst sound you want to hear when you're on that flight. Okay, so I'm gonna play this sound. I'm gonna test out active noise cancellation with all six of these headphones. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, so here we go. Now, one more thing I wanna mention. I hope y'all really appreciate this because this was some annoying testing, but it had to be done in the name of science. So here's my rankings. Number one, the Supreme Active Noise Cancellation headphones. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sony M5s. The noise cancellation on these is God tier. These are my new favorite as far as active noise cancellation. These have the most, okay? Number two, another set of God tier noise cancellation, AirPod Max, all right? The Sonys are only a little bit better, but you can tell, you can actually tell, a little bit better. Now, I would comfortably travel with either one of these. For me, it would, it would boil down to fit. Now, personally, I like the more heavy style headphones, so I'll probably still go with the AirPod Max, but if you like more lightweight, you're flying for more than five, six hours, you want uh, you know, more comfortable fit, definitely the Sonys. But I would say, as far as the Supreme noise cancellation, the Sonys edge them out. Number three, the Bose. All right, the Bose QC45s, God tier noise cancellation. All three of these right here, these are God tier noise cancellation. Now, let's go to top tier. Number four on the list, the Techniques. These are top tier noise cancellation. All three of these was better, but these are top tier, all right? Top tier noise cancellation. Then after that, I'm going with the Sennheisers, all right? Top tier noise cancellation. And last but not least, the Bowers and Wilkins. Now these are super comfortable. Okay, I should have did a full review on these. Funny story, I got these pre-COVID. I got these in the UK when I went to the Bowers and Wilkins event. I came home, I was gonna do an unboxing and review. I actually got two more sets of headphones I just found. And I had White Shoes bed on top of the box. So for all this time, I didn't even realize I had these until I started you know, thinking about doing this headphone comparison. I said, don't I got the B&O somewhere? I went and looked for them. Sure enough, I had them. So this is my first time hearing these. These sound great. They fit great. They feel great. All right, excellent build quality. Way better build quality than the Sony's. I like this little cloth texture right here. But the ANC is just top tier. The sound quality is pretty dope. But again, you've seen my rankings for yourself. All right, so these three right here, top tier. But let's talk about God tier noise cancellation. Okay, it's these three right here. These are the big boys. Okay, so let me go ahead and wrap this video up one more time. All right, this is my second wrap up. On a scale of one to 10, I'm giving these a quad major go. God tier noise cancellation, excellent sound. Sony, I gotta apologize for <laughs> for some of the negative stuff I've been saying all week. Y'all made me a believer, all right? Now, tomorrow, we're gonna do the Sony Link Buds S. Let's see if we can keep this Sony love going. I doubt it, <laughs> I doubt it. But I'm going into it with an open mind. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about the M5s. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. Pitch and roll. It's your boy Floss on that. Deuce. Spock won the beam up. Captain, 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 Captain,
everybody in the world uses technology. And if you're gonna buy some of that technology, you gotta understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.